Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode of Miss Planet. We are so glad you could join us. So this week we have a request from a community member and her name is Tammy and she writes, So for this centerpiece, we're gonna be using two mason jars. We're gonna use one 16 ounce wide mouth mason jar and one eight ounce mason jar. To tie in the colors of the bride, we're going to go ahead and wrap some satin ribbon right around the rim of each of the mason jars. Let's start with our 16 ounce wide mouth mason jar. I'm going to add just some river rock to about halfway up the mason jar. That's just gonna give it stability and it also adds that rustic feel and it's very textually <laughs> pleasing once we add the water to it. We're gonna fill the water right up to, right under the rim of the mason jar. So I purchased a bushel of baby's breath from my local supermarket for I think it was $7. And one bushel can create up to four centerpieces. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna trim all of my, my stems down to where I have about two inches of stems visible. I'm gonna gather them all up into a bouquet. This is the same technique I used to create a uh, baby's breath bridal bouquet, it's very simple. Once I have all my stems together, I'm going to use just a basic rubber band that I got out of a bag of rubber bands that I had around the house, and I'm going to tie them together with the rubber bands. As you can see, it's a beautiful effect for a very inexpensive centerpiece. But I wanna show you a little trick. I always like to feel the empty spaces with flowers and that's no different with baby's breath. So again, I'm gonna cut the stems down to about an inch now and I'm gonna gather them all up, wrap them with a rubber band, and then I'm going to actually stuff or put the little bouquet upside down into my mason jar.
So again, I purchased one dozen white roses from my local grocer for $6. So it's doable guys. And you can create three centerpieces with one dozen roses. Okay. So that comes out to about 50 cents a rose. Very economic. So I've cut my three roses. I'm going to use three in the main centerpiece. I've cut them to one is six inches, one is five inches, and one is four inches. So that you can have a little tearing effect naturally when you go ahead and place the roses inside of your centerpiece. And then I'm simply using the leftover greenery from the roses to spice it up a bit. You don't have to buy greenery. It already comes with it. <laughs> so be sure to use the leftover greenery to kind of spice up the centerpiece. So now let's focus on our eight ounce uh, mason jar. This one's going to be a little different because I want to show you how to create an illusion um, centerpiece. Like the, you would think that the water's going to run out of the jar and all the water's going to be on the table, <laughs> but no, it's going to give you the illusion of a cascading centerpiece. So again, we're taking our eight ounce mason jar and we're going to go ahead and just stuff it with um, baby's breath. I've cut it I don't know, you might have a half an inch of stem left, just enough so you can place it and kind of arrange it in the jar to look full. Fill it up as much or as little as you want. Um, either way, it works just great. Make it your plan. Next, we're gonna use one of our roses and we're going to cut the stem down to about uh, two inches long. And we're gonna use one of our water picks. Now, I, you don't have to use a pick. That's all they had in my local craft store. You can just use a water vessel. Either one works just fine. You simply fill up the vessel. You can place the flower stem. It has a hole at the top. It's very pliable. You place the stem in. And then we're gonna simply wrap our rose in some of the leftover greenery from the roses. And then follow that by wrapping it with our baby's breath. Use our trusty rubber band and place it inside of our jar. If you feel like you need to add more baby's breath to cover up your water pick, absolutely do that. And you have options here. You can sit it upright or you can do like I want to do and make it into an illusion. Now to create that rustic table number. We're gonna just use a little bit of acrylic paint and a stencil. Tape the stencil down on each side with some masking tape or some whatever tape you have. <laughs> and then you're just going to dab it. The key is put very little paint on your sponge brush. If you put too much paint, it's gonna bleed over and then it won't look as neat and as professional. So take your time with this. Once it's all dry, you just simply peel it off and ta-da, there's your rustic table number. So here's where you have options. You could always just set your two vases up on the table and they would cost you under $10 for that centerpiece. I'm gonna set it up on a wood base. And so to set it up like this costs you right around $22 or so. So I'm going to set a Dollar Tree base as well as a Dollar Tree candle in the background. And then I'm going to set my main tall centerpiece off to one side and then drape the other eight ounce smaller centerpiece over the edge of my wood base, and then finally adding my table number. Well, Tammy, what do you think? A fresh flower centerpiece for under $22. It's almost unheard of. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. See, you can really do it if you want real flowers, we can make that happen. We can help you with that. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you do, by all means, like us, subscribe, so you can be the first to know when our videos are posted every single Wednesday. And by all means, if you have a question, put it in the comments section. I am the one answering the questions. It's not one of our team members, it's actually me. Sometimes it takes me a minute to get to them when I have a super, super busy production week, but I promise you, I will get to them. And also, you can send, a, uh, send us a comment of encouragement. It just goes so far, you wouldn't believe how far it goes. And we appreciate every encouraging word that you send our way. If you would like to follow us on social media, we would love it. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. We would love for you to follow us and just hang out with us on social media.
Also, if you haven't already done so, oh, you've got to do this. Sign up for your Ebates rebate account. It is so simple. Head on down to the description, click on the link, sign up for your Ebates account. It's absolutely free, F-R-E-E. -E. And then when you're ready to shop online, log on to your Ebates account, find your vendors, and make your qualified purchases to receive a check at the end of the month. I am so excited to announce that we will be launching our home segments on our website, MissPlanet.com, where you get to hang out with me as I do DIY home projects around my house, the house of my relatives, as well as friends who are always asking me to do things. <laughs> so uh, if you would like to do that, head on down to the description, sign up for our newsletter, and you will be notified the moment we launch. I'm so excited to share my home projects with you, and I cannot wait to hang out with you at my house. It was such a blast being with you here this week on MissPlanet.com. I hope you enjoyed it. We thank you so much for hanging out with us because we know you have so many options. Remember, all the links to the supplies as well as the project cost are in the description right below this video. Click on that upside down triangle or arrow, however you see it, and you will find all of the information at your fingertips. You don't have to wonder where we got things from. We list it all there just for you. Well guys, our time has come to an end. Don't forget to check out our store, Miss, our Miss Planet Shop Store, because we have some fantastic wedding planning binders just for you. Thank you for those of you who have already supported us in our efforts to help you create the DIY wedding or party of your dreams. And um, we are just so grateful that it's helping you. Always remember that when every penny counts, count on this planet. Take care. See you soon. God bless.